All right, guys, so for today's video, I'm going to walk you through a Google Sheet CRM that I created that you can leverage if you are in any way, shape or form looking to track the payments or the installment plans of your clients. Make sure that you have an easy access to all of your customers data and essentially manage all of your clients information in a single place using Google Sheets. And before we hop to the computer, I want to just let you guys know a couple of things. Okay, so the first one is that the fact that I'm going to be using Google Sheets for the sake of this video doesn't mean that by any means you should be doing it the same way that we're doing it right now. You can use, for example, Airtable, you can use something like ClickUp, you can use something like Kasana or even something like Monday.com. Okay, I want you to get something clear, right? This is going to be a CRM that we're going to use to manage our customers' data. And that needs to be super clear because I made another video that is it's also a Google Sheet CRM, but that one is specifically made up for you guys to use use when you're doing album prospecting to keep all of your leads who know when to follow up etc this one is going to be mostly about once you have a client how you're going to keep track of your clients information and their data okay so that's the first thing that i want you guys to understand the second one is that since most people in my audience are marketing agencies coaches consultants high ticket info businesses i'm going to just create something that is going to be like the bare bones of what you should be having if you run any of these businesses, okay? But by no means, this is like an exhaustive list of all of the things that you should have in your CRM. I'm just going to show you and walk you through the things that I believe that most people should have and that is going to just simplify your, your workflow. Okay. Without further ado, let's just hop to the computer. But as always, thank you for watching and make sure to watch this video to access speed, okay? So I'm going to show you two main things that you should track if you are in any way, shape or form working with clients already so that you can deliver better results, reduce churn, and ultimately just have a centralized hub of all of your clients information okay so i'm going to walk you through client data management and i'm also going to walk you through payment collection because especially once you start having three four five customers at least what is going to happen is that knowing when to charge to your clients can be a little bit of a pain understanding how much you, you actually need to charge them can also be a pain because i don't think that i'm the only one that you know has a client and i forget like oh was this like a 1k installment plan like, was this like 2k and whatever right uh, as well as understanding how much cash you've collected per customer, the total revenue, etc. Okay. And by the way, guys, if you want to get access to this template absolutely for free, of course, just go ahead and join my free Facebook group with the link that you'll find in the description. So let's continue with the video. When it comes to payment collection, guys, in this Google Sheet CRM that you see here, very simply or in, 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 a, in a nutshell, what you're going to be able to track is, first of all, for clients, how much cash you've collected per customer. The total revenue, okay, the difference between cash and revenue, just to be fully clear, is revenue is the total projectly cash that you're going to get per customer but has not yet hit your bank account. And the cash collected is what you actually collected from that customer, okay? So, for example, let's say that you are selling a coaching program for, I don't know, let's say $4,000. And then you close the prospect, but they only paid um, $2,000, let's say upfront. And then you say, okay, let's start with 2K upfront. And then after this month, we are going to start collecting $500 weekly. Okay, because that's a possibility. Maybe they don't want to have a 2K installment, but they want they will accept a 500 per week uh, payment. Okay, that's something that we do a lot, actually, working on a weekly basis. Okay, so what you can say is installment amount, 500. Then what you're going to put in here is status, installment it could be weekly it could be monthly etc in this case we're going to put weekly, weekly let's say that you have a couple of offers let's say that you're using offer one what you're going to do is simply keep track on the dates where the fall, sorry the dates where the next payments are going to be done okay so in this case you can see here that we have everything on track i actually made an automation so that the day that the, that you actually need to collect the payment it is going to turn green as you can see here, every single day you simply log in and you see who you need to actually collect money from, the actual amount of money that you're going to collect for them, etc. And also in terms that it's overdue, um, it's going to turn, you can see here, red. Okay, super, super simple. And I want to just let you guys know, okay, I actually made a start in here so that you know when someone is actually completed, like they completed all of their payments. If somebody is on a monthly installment plan, maybe a weekly installment plan, maybe they have money to be collected overdue for whatever reason, so you want to track that. Or maybe they simply ghost you and they are abandoned. Okay, so this is how you can keep track of the payments part of the equation. And I think that this by itself is going to be super helpful for a lot of people. Because maybe when you have one client, it's not going to be so much of a problem. But the moment you have a lot of clients that you need to be keeping track of finances, etc. This is going to be super helpful. Okay, guys? So this is just part one, which is the actual payment collection and finances. Okay. I want to walk you through a simple client data management that you can use. And again, guys, this is literally just the bare bones, but you can add a whole bunch of different things in here, depending on what your service line looks like, essentially what you do with your business, okay? So 
in this client data management, what you're going to be able to track is essentially, of course, the same thing, client's name. Let's say that you're an agency, you have, I don't know, you run Facebook ads for your client, whatever their name is. Of course, you might want to have like a Google Drive folder that is private just to this client so that you can have all of their assets, all of the information, their logins, whatever it might be. So you want to add a link that sends directly to that folder of this client and you can track of everything in here. Okay, that's like uh, one of the most usual use cases that I can think about. Okay. Another example is you should always have like a, some sort of onboarding form or some sort of intake that you give to your clients when you start working with them so that you can have full clarity on their expectations, their goals, their milestones, the different things that you might need in order to deliver a great service, right? So what I would recommend you guys doing is actually just keeping the link to that onboarding form in here, okay? Of course, I'm using weird links in here because, I mean, uh, this is just an example, but you can see the point I'm trying to make. You can here drag client's name, the Google Drive folder, their, their onboarding form, and I honestly don't care if you run some sort of agency or coaching business, you should always have some sort of onboarding material that you go with with your client, okay? And the last thing that I wanted to share with you is what I call the last contact, okay? Especially if you want to reduce churn as much as possible, and we all should be trying to do so, we need to be able to track every single time with every single client the last time that we had a touch point or a contact with them. So for example, let's say that the last time you reached out to the customer was on September 26th. If a lot of time goes by or you have a client success manager or whatever it might be, one month, it's, it's actually October 26th or in, in either you or just client success manager is in charge of you taking a look at what's happening in here, then you can be like, oh, we haven't reached out to this client for one month. We should actually reach out in right now, okay? And you can actually uh, set up automations using something like conditional formatting. So for example, that if date is in the past month, then it automatically turns to a certain color reminding you that you should reach out, okay? And by no means you should just wait till the last day to reach out. What I'm trying to say is that that's how you can keep track and make sure that everybody is well served in constant communication with you, okay? And honestly, guys, that's pretty much it because of course there are a lot of things that we could do and there's a lot of things that you can add on top of this but I think that this is like the bare bones that is going to allow you to have clarity in terms of when to collect payments from your clients and the actual finance part of the equation that a lot of people are struggling with, including myself back in the day. And then the actual client data management part of the equation, which is essentially all of the information, the assets, et cetera, that you need from your client to deliver a world-class service to them, okay? So guys, if you want me to do a separate video on how you can do something like this, but in different tools, like, I don't know, on Airtable, on ClickUp, on Monday, um, actually operations and project management is one of the things where I actually excel at when it comes to building companies, okay? Everything has to do with operations, etc. If there's a specific software that you want me to show you how to use or if there's a specific use case that you want me to show you just let me know in the comments i'll be happy to record a video because i know that this is like the boring stuff that nobody likes to talk about but um called me a weirdo i really enjoyed to do this okay so if you run a coaching slash consulting business or some sort of marketing agency go to the link in the description to see how working together would look like if you're actually serious about growing this company okay guys so without further ado see you guys in the next one speak soon bye